Hi, this is Kim Pinkney, and welcome to my channel. Alrighty, this is my process. Uh, this is the third part where I'm using uh, Easy Pose and Procreate to draw this in my own style. And what I did is I basically took uh, Procreate in my solid shapes. Once I finally let loose of the face, <laughs> did some solid shapes, and then I did some clipping masks. Uh, each one of these is all on my, in its own layer, and just added a texture, and then used Liquify to kind of get that texture to kind of flow with how fabric would fall on the body. With the collar the same way, I tried to add some tones to it. Uh, once you have it in a clipping mask, you can uh, increase the size of the texture so you can see the, the texture a little bit better. I also started adding uh, some shadows in the face and around the body so that it had more of a depth than looking really like really flat 2D. Now, when I do uh, the, the clothing, I like to have it go with the flow of the body, but when it's solid like that, it's kind of hard. So sometimes it doesn't hurt to uh, go ahead and make your layer, you know, transparent so you can see how the muscles are. I did it with the pants, um, taking a part of the pants once I had the colors down and the texture in. I went ahead and flattened it and then we did the clipping mask with the socks and then I took pieces off the pants and then put it to the side and just kind of manipulated it with the liquify tool and the uh, some of the other tools and got my shapes and uh, I noticed that as I'm doing some of these I leave off bits and pieces and then add other things uh, and it just kind of makes it my own like I add the name of the uh, the person who created the original character onto the shoes. Uh, I should have put Finley Doodles, but I thought it was kind of cute just to have Finley on there uh, in, in that little text there. <laughs> gave him some Argyle socks. I gave him texture where it didn't have to be, uh, but that's all in, in good fun. But as long as Finley can recognize their OC, I am in good shape. So instead of putting on laces like usual, I used one of my hair brushes, uh, a braided hair brush. And because this person is a skater, I figured they'd tuck it inside. Uh, it's really easy to miss fine details when you've been, especially when you've been at it for about a couple hours. And uh, this whole process here took about two, two to three hours at this level. That's not including everything before all that. It's easy to it's easy to create the pose, and uh, <laughs> but once you have to figure out and make those choices on your own and start doing some thinking, <laughs> that takes a little bit longer. Uh, I did a little bit of changes with the sunglasses. Uh, I I took the basic shape, the zoomed in image, and went ahead and. Added a, an extra little tone to it and made it transparent. Alrighty, I went in and added the uh, the dice earring, the die earring, and then I decided I wanted to use the G clef. So uh, instead of trying to recreate it. But it makes the guy really small, so I'm glad I made him big at the beginning. Because um, <clears throat> we lose a lot of detail once he's small. So I went ahead and did a clipping mask, or did a, a mask, and added him on in there. And this is where I alter his pants and his jacket so that uh, he looks like he's, you know, he and the clef are together. And when I had done some searching on, you know, for this character, I found that this person was a skater. And, uh, you know, I, by this time I'm kind of fried, I'm kind of tired. Instead of taking a break and everything, I just kept going with some, uh, some, uh, some spray paint brushes. 
but I kept getting it on the body. <laughs> Everything's merged together. Um, and then I decided to add a skateboard and I throw that on in there. And I also come back into the face a little bit later and I uh, just do some cleanup. My uh, uh, idea to put onto the skateboard uh, was kind of like that yin yang symbol. And uh, I used one of my textures of a dragon <clears throat> and added that on in here. I was going to do the uh, the wheels in like red and blue, but eh, I didn't quite make it that far. I figured that it, it, some of the details might be lost in, in translation. But I still want to be cool. <laughs> Skateboard was uh, definitely a last minute addition. Just kind of added a few details so that you knew that it was like a, a skateboard rig type of thing. And then I started cleaning up some of my lines, adding more detail, <clears throat> added pockets, and just other little things to make it look more like a, a jacket. You really can't see the, the dragons on the jacket. You can a little bit in the highlights, but since his, his image is so small, you really can't see a lot of the detail. And then I'll pull up my source images just to make sure I'm following still on code. And here's where I'm like, adjusting the pants to make it look like they're a little bit more loose jacket give it a little bit more texture and, and folds and whatnot like that and then uh, lastly I end up going back into the sweater because near the neck area is just like a little gray spot and um, I just kind of clean that up but it's so tiny, it's really not very noticeable. So I add some, uh, some more shadows, clean up some of my lines. Alrighty. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this series, this little mini-series on how I work uh, from uh, Easy Pose and the, D the Draw These In Your Style uh, to create these little images. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I read everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.